Since my last video about GP specialist assessment, I have received many messages from physicians, that is pediatricians, cardiologists, endocrinologists, gastroenterologists working in Pakistan, India, Middle East, and they want to know if they can too come and work here in Australia through some sort of assessment process. And the answer is yes. So today I'm going to talk about the specialist assessment process for physicians and pediatricians from these countries. There are 27 specialties that Royal Australian College of Physicians can assess. These include addiction medicine, cardiology, clinical genetics, clinical hematology, clinical immunology, clinical pharmacology, community child health, endocrinology, gastroenterology, journal and acute medicine, journal pediatrics, geriatric medicine, infectious diseases, medical oncology, neonatal and perinatal medicine, nephrology, neurology, nuclear medicine, occupational and environmental medicine, pediatric emergency medicine, palliative care medicine, public health medicine, rehabilitation medicine, respiratory medicine, rheumatology, sleep medicine, sexual health medicine, and that's I think pretty much all. Now I'm going to break this conversation down into eligibility, documents required, the process of assessment, the cost of specialist assessment, and my final recommendation based on all of these factors. Now eligibility. RACP have not defined any postgraduate exam as acceptable or not acceptable. They are saying in order to apply for a special assessment, you need to have completed at least four years of specialist training overseas in your own country plus pass the fellowship exam, which could be FCPS, MD, Arab or American board. Now they have not actually specified, as I said, any exam, but I think based on my experience, working with some of the colleagues with these degrees, plus be working at least three years as a consultant in the specialty in a good setup. Again, I think I'm going to get lots of question about MRCP. Now for a fact, it is an entry level exam, even in the UK for a specialist training. So I don't think it will count. Most physicians with fellowships exams and a solid four to five years of specialist level training are considered to be eligible for this pathway. What is the process? Now, before applying, you need to have AMC and EPIC verification of your identification, MBBS and specialist qualification degrees. You must also have an evidence of your CPD activities, logbook of procedure, if it is applicable to your own specialty. Your assessment will actually go through three stages. Stage one is also known as interim assessment stage, and they will determine your comparability to an Australian trained specialist based on your application form and your interview. Now, it is a very detailed process and you have to explain everything in the application form about your training, about your exams, about the procedure, and you need to pay a good attention in each and every part of that application process. Next, you'll need to attend an interview, which is mainly conducted through a video conference and may last up to about 90 minutes. They will be mainly asking you questions about your application, everything that you've put in it, also assessing your communication skills and organization of your presentation skills. They will also be asking, obviously, about your training, your specialist practice, your continuing professional development, and what kind of work are you doing as a consultant. So be very well prepared because interviews can be very intimidating. After the interview, you will receive a copy of your interview report and the referee reports. You will have 21 working days to provide an additional documentation to support your application. Now, depending on the outcome of this interim assessment, you could be given one of the three categories, substantially comparable, meaning that you have two years to begin the supervised work and 12 months to complete your peer review assessment with a maximum time limit of 24 months to complete everything, including exams if it applies. Partially comparable, meaning you have two years to begin your supervised work and 24 months to complete your peer review assessment, including the FRACP exam plus the maximum time period in this category could be up to 48 months to complete everything. And third outcome is not comparable, meaning your application is not going to proceed. Now, stage two is also known as an ongoing assessment. Essentially, you now have to look for a job where you can work as a consultant or at a senior registrar level, where a supervisor or a couple of supervisors can provide a peer review process. There will be assessment of your skills, the procedure, the patient management, and your supervisor are basically providing an oversight to your entire workflow. There will be workplace assessments like multi-source feedback, case-based discussion. And this, I think, is often the hardest process because job at senior registrar or a consultant level in specialties like cardiology, gastroenterology, respiratory medicine, neurology, endocrinology can be very hard to find. And you also need to find 
an FRACP qualified supervisor at those job sites. Stage three is a final assessment stage. Once you complete the ongoing training requirements, completed your workplace based assessment, and you have completed FRACP exams, the RACP will give you final recommendation to work as an independent specialist. The initial application submission is 956 Australian dollars. Fee before the interview is $5,393 ongoing in-training assessment or at the hospital fee would be $4,188 per year. So the total cost could be anywhere between $6,349 if you're not comparable just for the application and interview, $10,537 if you're substantially comparable and $14,725 if you are partially comparable because obviously it adds up more years for the in-hospital training assessment. My recommendation. My first recommendation would be to do a thorough research in the Australian job market for your specialty. Look for the jobs on seek.com.au or state medical recruitment website. If you can find a job, send them an email to express an interest to come work as a specialist for further training and see if they have a supervisor. Number two, the process is actually quite straightforward, but it requires a lot of planning and detail during the application and also during the interview. So be ready to set at least two to three months for document collection, the logbooks, the training assessment, the references. And you need to be dedicating time to fill each and every section of the application form with great care, because if you don't mention those things correctly, your application form will be returned. Now, the actual part of finding a job at a senior registrar level or junior consultant level can be hard. I have been contacted by one of the cardiologists from India who said they were found to be partially comparable but never were able to find a job which suited their partial comparability standards and ongoing peer review assessment process. And that's why I'm saying look for the job first before you start this very expensive process. The initial cost is about $6,000, which will lead to the decision of your comparability. The cost of in-training assessment is $4,188 per annum. I don't think that's an issue because you'll be at least working here in Australia by that time and you'll be paid much better salary. You must be ready to sit and pass the FRACP exam within the specified time to be able to work as an independent specialist in Australia. Now specialties in my understanding, which are you know, good to opt for are geriatrics, general or acute care medicine, occupational health, public health, immunology and allergy, and even pediatrics. There might be better opportunities to find in specialties like cardiology, gastroenterology, oncology in area of need. But mind you, these would be very rural and remote locations. Uh, plus finding a supervisor can be a very daunting process. So plan well ahead. Finally, do consider short term training pathway and AMC one, which will at least you know, open up the options of finding a more junior level positions. And then you can at least come and work here in Australia to get adjusted to the system and then start the specialist assessment process in a good hospital because you've now established the relationship. I hope you like this video. If you have any question, please drop them in a comment section. If you need any assistance, please email me info at emergencyfocus.net. Now, all of these details are also available in blog link in the description. Look after yourself and each other. Goodbye.